Hi guys, a while ago I recorded a video for this HackerRank challenge called Recursive Digit Sum. In that challenge, we received a number and we had to add up all the digits of that number together. We had to repeat that process until we got a single digit. So let's say the number was 9,875. The goal was to do 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 5. That would give us 29. Then we would go ahead and do 2 plus 9. That would give us 11. Then we would add 1 plus 1. We would get 2 and to the single digits, so we would be done. And in the function for our solution, we also had a parameter called k, and the instruction said that before going ahead to process that number, in the very first step, we had to multiply our first result by k. So again, an example with that number, 9875, let's say k was 4, then we would go ahead and add 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 5, but then we would have to do that four times until we got the results 116. So we would go ahead and process 116 by doing 1 plus 1 plus 6. That would give us 8. And 8 is a single digit. So that would be the end of our processing here. So that is what you see here, the solution that I used in my first video. And if I submit this code, you can see that we are able to pass all the test cases. But a user pointed out to me a tiny error or something that I failed to take into consideration. So that is what I want to rectify in this video. And I'm going to explain now what I mean. So let's say n is one in that function, n is a string and k is five. k is an integer here. So we are supposed to multiply one by five. So we would get one plus one plus one all the way until we get five. Now five is a single digit. So that will be the end of our recursion in this solution. But if I go ahead and I check this checkbox here and I enter the number one for the value of my number n here and the number five for the value of k and I run this code, I'm not going to get five. You can see that my output is one. It's supposed to be five, but it's one and that is wrong. And the reason why it's wrong is because in the first line here of my solution, I'm checking if I'm dealing with a single character for my string parameter n, meaning that I have a single digit. And if that's the case, I simply return that character as an integer because that will be the super digits for this problem. So this is accepted for this challenge. That's why when I submitted this code previously, we were able to pass all the test cases, but this is not correct. You guys can go ahead and watch my first solution video. I'm going to link it in this description. I'm just going to go ahead and paste my new solution here. And then I'm going to explain why this one works. So this is the new solution. I have this function. It's still called super digits. We still have the same parameters. So it is string that I'm calling n and I have this integer here that I'm calling k. And now in this new solution, the first step is to add up all the digits of the number n. And because n is a string, what I'm doing here is I'm using this for loop. I'm accessing every character from my string. Then here I'm converting that character into an integer and I am simply adding it up to my super value here. So once I'm done, I multiply that by k and I then verify if I have a super digit. So to verify that I'm checking is my value less than or equal to nine, the digits nine. So if it is, then I can return that number and I'm done. If it's not, I'm simply going to pass that super value to my function once again in recursive style. The reason why my second argument here is one is because I don't need the value k anymore. So again, I have more details on that in my first video, but that's the logic here. So if I run this code now, you will see that I will get five. And now it's correct. If n is one and k is five, I get five. Likewise, if I submit this code and I test it against all the 12 cases, nothing fails. So if you need a recap, the mistake that I did in my first solution was to verify if we were dealing with a single digit before processing my number. So the first thing that you need to do is process the number first by adding all the digits together, multiplying it by k, and then verifying if it's a single digit or not. If it is, return it. If it's not, process it again by passing it to this function. And that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this new solution, please subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, and I'll catch you next time.